Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm here to bring you a manga chapter review of Naruto Gaiden, the 7th Hokage, chapter 8. So, before I begin this review, I want to talk about an article I saw on Anime News Network a couple days ago, and I felt like it was very relevant to what this series is. So, apparently, Naruto Gaiden is only going to be one volume long so as we all predicted it was only going to be like 10 chapters to 12 chapters because i remember i said a couple weeks back that this was only going to be 10 chapters and a bunch of chibits tried to correct me say like no 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 it's most likely not but judging by the article link of anime news network and the way the volume cover is with no one on it, it there's a huge possibility that it's going to end after 10 chapters like naruto guide is going to end after 10 to 12 chapters so I don't know how to feel about that because with the setup of a person or a fret that's stronger than Kaguya and only having 10 chapters, I really don't know how to feel about that. I, I really don't, but that I'm going to save that for another day. I just wanted to mention that if you all did not know about that or you were unaware of Naruto Gaiden kind of being announced to have only one volume. So let's talk about this chapter, chapter 8 of Naruto Gaiden. So chapter 8 of Naruto Gaiden First half, I guess, is more of Naruto talking to Sarada and trying to talk her out of going off by herself and doing the traditional talk no jitsu against Sarada. That's kind of what Naruto does in the first half of this chapter. And for the most part, it seems like Naruto did a good job. He was a very good uh, parent figure in to Sarada. Like, he was acting like a really good grown-up in that scene. It's kind of unnerving seeing Naruto in that situation because if we think back at Naruto's character I mean, we look at Naruto in this chapter it's just it's so weird seeing him as you know the seventh Hokage being such a good like adult figure that helps out the youngins and it, it's just it's really cool seeing him like that especially in this chapter the way he's helping out Sarada and trying to help her out to where she doesn't run away and you know she accepts you know Sakura for who she is and even though Sakura may not be her blood mother she needs to accept Sakura because sakura has been there with her since the very beginning so I sense something like this probably going to be going down with this series since we kind of found out that Karen was Sarada's mother well, I, I assumed, um, a couple of Chibits from last week assumed that there was a good possibility that Sardada most likely is going to look at Sakura as a mother just because she spent so much time with her when she was younger. Now, I do want to clarify something I saw a lot in last week's chapter review I did. A lot of Chibits were saying, like, no, 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 did you not see the hair? It most likely is, you know, Sasuke, or, you know, it's like Sasuke's hair from, you know, the DNA test that was done. Let me explain. Let me bust this, you know, theory or what people were saying last week. There's no way someone is going to mistake in freaking black hair from red hair. Karen's hair is red. Sasuke's is black. They're not mistaking that hair color. So when someone grabs that hair color and they do a DNA test, they're not going to say like, oh, that's black. That's definitely Karen's. So, yeah, that, that theory right there that I saw a bunch in the comments last week trying to, you know, say like, no, 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 there's no way. There's no way that was, you know, Karen's hair. There you go. There, there's no way you can mistake a red hair for a black hair. That You have to be fucking colorblind. So, moving on. Thing is, okay, with the chapter, besides the first half, the second half reveals a couple of things. Sasuke, he still has his powers where he uses the Sharinigan. He still has that, and he's just only been very rusty and he couldn't use it. And now he's got it back. He's being able to use it now. He also shows off his Susano in this chapter. So, I mean, Sasuke's getting back up to par. He also talks about Kaguya's dimension where he can go to it. So, there's a lot of setup with this chapter, and for the most part, it's mainly what it is. Now, we did get some flashbacks in this chapter, and depending on how you feel about flashbacks when it comes to Naruto, you most likely are not going to like that too much, because, I mean, we've got a lot of flashbacks in Naruto, and personally, I don't know how to really feel about flashbacks in Part 3 of Naruto, since technically this is, you know, like an epilogue after the story, so... It just depends, I guess, on the reader of the series. But, thing is, okay, Sakura seems to be about to be getting into a fight with Shin, and judging by the way it's going to go, I'm going to assume that Shin's going to be top no jitsu to where he doesn't probably attack Konoha, and he's probably going to get out of where he wants to kill people. I'm assuming something like that's going to happen, judging by the way it's been going down, especially with these past couple chapters. And obviously, since, you know, this is only going to be like 10 to 12 chapters, judging by, you know, the Anime News Network's article, it's obvious that Shin's either going to be defeated very soon, or he's going to get talked out of what he's going to do. So we'll have to see. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.